Hi guys, my name is Nikita and I'm part of the BankX project. So today I'm going to talk about the main idea of our proof of asset protocol, the role of BankX Foundation, the issues linked to proving who finally owns the token product, and uh, our vision how to overcome uh, these problems. So uh, here we have a snapshot of our Lucy chart uh, showing the different processes of our proof of asset protocol. So, to keep it simple, I use the example of a car uh, owned by a, a person uh, who wants to tokenize it and then exchange it against some uh, other goods. So the proof of asset protocol takes as input some initial information that you can see on the left part. So we need the information about the originator client. Uh, say it could be a person or company, here it's the car owner. Uh, then this information goes to uh, the BankX originator scroll. So we check if, uh, say, the person was involved in some scams or uh, the person has a good reputation. Then we check for the availability. Uh, we need to know if the car is parked somewhere, if it's moving. Uh, so we need all this information to take into account. Then we look at the global delivery conditions, the logistic conditions, juridical conditions, taxes, uh, in the case of a car, some um, uh, new cars need uh, to pay more taxes uh, when you import them. Uh, our our uh, older cars are cheaper to import, uh, or it could be uh, uh, exact opposites for some countries. Uh, some countries, uh, for example, give you bonuses when you buy a Tesla. So all this information is to be encrypted in the smart contract. Uh, then we have uh, the accounting process. So uh, we'll use Balance 3 uh, software developed by Consensus uh, in order to check that uh, all the taxes on the product token are paid, that uh, all the legal stuff uh, is uh, being verified and uh, it works well. So uh, once we get all this information, we input it in a product formula one. Uh, this is our first product tokenization step. So uh, the product uh, tokenization formula outputs a uh, product, to uh, product token. Um, in this case, it's an Ethereum token that uses Ethereum gas. Then this classic Ethereum token is inputted in formula two in order to transform it in a smart asset. During the, this transformation, uh, BankX provides some contract expertise and uh, some escrow services. And for all these uh, operations and services, BankX charges BankX gas. Then, uh, after the tokenization was successful, we get a smart asset, also called for us a product token, that has different characteristics in it. Uh, say for a car, we the weight, the size, the color, and all, all this stuff. Uh, then, this product token is sent on the BankX market, uh, where it goes through different product filters. Uh, why that? Because say you want to buy a gold watch on the BankX market, so you're not really interested in uh, seeing cars or P2P loans proposed to you. As well as uh, P2P loans will need a special interface because uh, they have different parameters of interest than uh, cars or motorbikes. So uh, this way uh, we have uh, our product token on the BankX market. Uh, following some trading rules according to Formula 3. And then Formula 4 matches uh, the different asks that come from uh, potential buyers. Uh, and uh, we get, for example, uh, a match between uh, the bid and the ask. And uh, finally, uh, it's a deal. So uh, at this step, we need to make sure that the car token uh, is delivered to uh, the owner and that all the conditions uh, are respected. So for this, uh, we've thought about making a proof of uh, mining uh, and uh, it will ensure that uh, indeed the, uh, there will be no legal or no uh, security issues uh, with delivering the product token. So finally, uh, the product token is deposited in the buyer's wallet and the uh, originator client gets uh, BKX tokens as a reward. Uh, so, um, 
Now we're going to talk about the Bankex Foundation and its important role uh, in the Bankex ecosystem. So, uh, Bankex Foundation has a community of uh, developers, coders that develop new smart contracts. Where that? Imagine you have an owner of a skyscraper in London coming to you and asking if he can tokenize office spaces. So, you would be uh, interested to provide these services. But uh, BankHex doesn't have a smart contract for it. So we'll ask our community to uh, code one. If they're interested and see a potential in tokenizing office spaces, they'll do it and in reward receive some BankHex tokens. Uh, so after uh, this, kind of this new smart contract is created by the community, we can then start tokenizing uh, offices not only in London, all over the world because it will be a universal smart contract that will adjust to original specifics. Uh, so here again, we unlock a new potential for uh, owners of assets and make uh, the securization uh, process fast and, and efficient. Uh, plus we allow uh, easy access, uh, fast and easy access actually to the capital market. So to conclude, uh, we can say that uh, blockchain technologies are becoming uh, more popular and more intuitive uh, as time goes by. And we think that smart assets will help us to use the advantages of blockchain technologies in a more efficient and financially attractive way for our clients.